The Not So Lazy Schwa by Yvette Manis. Pictures by Anna K. Blue. Schwa was a very lazy guy. He slept in late each morning on top of his junky bed. Instead of cleaning up his room, he hid the mess in the closet. He only did the bare minimum and never tried anything different. One day, Schwa's friend Slash came by to visit him. Schwa, what have you been up to? I haven't seen you around town in weeks, he exclaimed. Schwa replied, I've just been, uh, around. What about you? Slash explained, I've been working with my new friends, the consonants. I help them represent their sounds. You should come meet them one day. Uh, I'll think about it, Schwa considered. The consonants are pretty cool, Slash continued. Uh, I'll see, Schwa replied. Tired of hearing all of Schwa's uhs, Slash climbed over the mess and left Schwa's place. Schwa went back to laying around, but something in him was different. All of a sudden, Schwa was bored. Should I try to make friends with the consonants too? He wondered. Schwa hopped in the shower, brushed his teeth, and got dressed. He headed to Consonant Cove where Slash was exercising and splashing around with his new friends. Schwa shouted, Hey, I heard you practicing your sounds. Can I hang out with you all? Yes, Wa yelled. The things got weird when Schwa hung out with the consonants. He added his extra uh sound to them. Wa's sound switched into y. D sound transformed into duh, and P sound was replaced with puh. Wait a second, P proclaimed. My sound isn't puh. That would make my favorite color puh ink. My favorite food puh asta. And my favorite animal a puh anda? That doesn't sound right. Sorry, schwa. You have to leave. You're messing up all of our sounds. Schwa was so upset. He didn't mean to mess up the consonant sounds by adding his uh to the end of them. He ran and ran until he couldn't run anymore. He found himself at the bottom of a hill where he'd never been before. Where am I? Schwa asked aloud. Welcome to Val Valley, a voice answered. He looked up and saw the letters A, E, I, O, and U waving at him. We are the Vals, they replied in unison. Vals? What is a vowel? Schwa asked. We have sounds just like the consonants, but we're a little different, A answered. The sounds we represent are made by having your mouth open, he explained. I interjected. We work with the consonants to make new words and syllables. We're on our way to meeting with them to blend our sounds to make words. You should come with us, you urged. One by one, Schwa watched the consonants and vowels come together to form new words. Today was their first time making words with more than one syllable. These words look great, but we've never made multisyllabic words before, N noticed. When we say these words aloud, they sound interesting. Above, seven, pencil, lemon, focus. Swall suggested, I have an idea. How about I step in and make these words sound a little more, uh, relaxed, like me? The consonants and vowels cheered with delight at Schwa's idea. Sensational suggestion, S said. Slash offered, Schwa, let me help you with your sound. 
slash lent schwa short u sound. Schwa was so happy that he asked for another sound and borrowed short i sound. Schwa decided to make those sounds, but in his own laid-back way. Now that the vowel sounds were more relaxed, they got along with the consonants better, especially when they came together to make words with more than one syllable. So whenever schwa appeared in multisyllabic words, he made the whole word sound more natural. Plus, the vowels didn't have to work so hard anymore. This was a perfect job for a guy like schwa, who liked to be unstressed, but still wanted to be involved sometimes. Well, schwa, Slash realized, it seems like you were never lazy at all. You just needed inspiration and to find where you fit in. Now you're the most common sound in town. How's that feel? Amazing, Schwa shouted. Tips for after reading. Go on a word hunt and list all the words in the story that have a schwa sound. Do a word sort with schwa words and categorize the words with which vowel sound the schwa replaces. Practice saying all the vowel sounds from a vowel valley chart. Review the concept of stressed and unstressed syllables and words that have more than one syllable. Discuss how dialect can impact how we say words. Using another passage or text, highlight as many words as you can find with a schwa in them. Listen for schwa sounds in words that we say and point them out when you hear them in their environment. Fun facts about the schwa. Schwa is often called a lazy sound, but it can take the place of any vowel sound. Schwa is the most common sound in spoken English. The schwa sound is represented in written form by an upside down lowercase e. We make the schwa sound by making our lips slightly round and producing the sound in the center of our tongue. The schwa makes a more relaxed version of the sounds of short u and short i in place of a vowel sound. The schwa sound appears in the unstressed syllables of a word. Unstressed syllables are said quicker and quieter than the other syllables in the word. More fun facts about the schwa. Letter sounds are called phonemes and there are 44 phonemes in the English language. Schwa is the only phoneme that has its own name. When we say phonemes, just say the sound. Example, the letter B represents the sound B, not B. The slashes around a letter are called virgules. April 7th of every calendar year is National Schwa Day. Check out the last page for more details. Some words that have schwa sounds in place of the vowel sounds are ago, above, bonnet, bottom, camel, carrot, confused, dragon, fossil, idiom, lemon, parade, pencil, salad, seven, vinyl, zebra. Can you think of any more words with schwa sounds? Celebrate National Schwa Day, April 7th of every year. National Schwa Day is celebrated in schools by participating in different activities that promote a love for reading and relaxation. Some ideas to celebrate are wearing pajamas or sunglasses. Students and teachers show how relaxed and unstressed they are by wearing pajamas, cozy clothes, or sunglasses. Draw your own schwa. Students draw or color in their own schwa and list words that have schwa in them. Word hunt activities. Find where the schwa is in words. Practice saying the sound that vowel represents. Mindful activities. Discuss how students can use breathing techniques to remain unstressed. Visit www.nationaldayarchives.com slash day slash national schwa day slash for more information.
Thank you.